Hey guys, it's Pete from Crunch Time Coaching and welcome to Serve Clones. Serve Clones is a new series I'm opening up on YouTube that I think you're absolutely gonna love. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the most prolific servers in the history of tennis and we're gonna teach you step by step on how to clone their serve. So if you've got a favorite server out there that you want to look just like, you're gonna really love this new series that we have on YouTube. We're gonna start out with Roger Federer. Roger Federer has a beautiful serve and we're gonna be breaking each and every move for you to copy. Now this is gonna take a lot of work, so we're gonna make this into a three-part series and today what we're gonna work on is the pre-stretch or pre-hit. So we're not gonna to go to hitting the ball, what we're gonna do is look at each and every, his stance, the way he moves his racket back, his rhythm, and we're gonna try and copy just the beginning, and then in a couple days we'll be back and we'll show you getting ready to strike the ball and then his follow through and where he lands on the court. So you can look just like Roger. Now I can't guarantee you that you're gonna be able to serve like Roger, because certainly after this, I'm not gonna be able to serve like Roger, but if I ever did want to copy his motion, at least we'll know how to do it. So let's get right into today's video. All right, so let's get into cloning Roger Federer's serve motion. Again, this is a three-part series. Today, we're just working on his pre-hit, what he's going to do before he gets up to uh, what I call the secret power source. So right to there, that's all we're going to work on. Now, let's take a look at the full motion so you can see what we eventually want to turn this into. But that's a lot to ask to go out there and practice and get all those moving parts together. It's a lot to ask of, of even myself. I, I really had to, uh, since it's a different motion for me, I really had to think about a lot of these moves, as you're going to see. So let's, first of all, just take a look at his stance. And notice that he's got a nice wide base. Look, look how far apart his legs are here when he gets ready. Now, he's doing this for a reason. You're going to notice when he comes back that we're going to start to see his chest open up to the back fence. So that's that's the first thing that I focus on getting myself into. We're going to clear this out. And I also want you to notice a couple of other things. Notice how his racket face is pointing down to the ground. So I think why he's doing this is he's just trying to stay nice and relaxed. He, he's almost got like no uh, tight grip on the racket. He's just laying that racket kind of dangle out of his hands. That's what I'm imagining as he's doing this. And he also is in, just so you know, you want to make sure you're getting yourself in the continental grip. So this is his starting point. And one final note I want you to t take a look at is it looks like he is looking forward at his target and at the box. And I'm trying to mimic that whole thing. So I'm just trying to be relaxed. I'm in the continental grip. I've got my wide base. And one final note before we start to work on our pre-hit motion is notice how he's got all his weight on his front foot. You can even see his back toe, his back toe here is lifted a little bit off the ground and I'm trying to do the same thing with my back toe. So I think I look pretty similar there to Roger Federer and this is kind of cool because you can see that this particular move doesn't really take uh, athleticism to get in this position. It just takes really paying attention to detail. Now, let me show you Roger Federer's first move that we're trying, the, the first checkpoint I'm trying to get, which is where he's coming here and he's getting his racket into a lag position. Now, why is he letting his racket just dangle like that? He's doing this because at the end, he wants his racket head speed to get faster and faster. So the longer he can hold this racket down here as he's tossing, it's forcing him to play a game of catch-up at the end. So he's going to have a lot of racket head speed moving through the ball. So I tried to get this exact move down as well. And you can see it took me a while. So you can see my racket's already moved pretty far, and my arm hasn't. Well, that's not what Roger Federer's doing. So I realized that because I watched the video over and over again. Uh, the video, uh, I actually have my phone right here in this basket. So I kept watching it over and over again and had a clear picture of what I wanted to do in my mind, but my body didn't always do that. Now, this one I feel is closer. It's closer to what Roger's doing. But if you take a look at my racket here, you can see that my my racket dangling towards the ground is still pretty close into my legs where it looks like he's cleared his body more. So 
I also was thinking about this as I practice. I'm like, okay, that's close, but I don't think I've got it. So I just really just kept trying to get this one move. Now look at this. The very next time I go, I think I'm looking, let's just see if we can get our arms together. I think I'm looking a little more similar to him if we get to right to that position, arms together. I think that's pretty close. I think that's pretty close. And I kept practicing that. Kept practicing that. Look look at this. This is even more of a wide turn. Notice as, as I'm just doing this naturally, which is kind of cool, from the first practice motion to this one, my chest has opened up even more. So let's try and get our arms almost at the same angle. And I'd say that's pretty close. And you can see that I've got a wide base in my legs as well. So I feel like this is pretty similar to what, what Roger's doing. And once I felt that I had it, then I'm like, okay, let me try and actually do where I let the ball go and just practice a serve. Let me see what that feels like. And it actually felt pretty good. I felt like when I was doing this, I was getting more pop out of my serve than normal. So it was, it was nice to really practice it. It felt, it felt good, guys. So again, here I am. I'm coming down coming up and just practicing. I'm like, no, that's not, that's not it because you see how high this arm is and how low this arm is. That's definitely not it, and I felt that. So I'm like, don't, don't hit your serve yet. I wouldn't serve until I felt like I was getting into similar positions as Roger was. So I try it again. I'm like that right there to me feels like I'm close to Roger. We take a look at that. This is about where I'd let go of the – the uh, ball out of my hand, and there's Roger. The ball is just out of his hand. So there we are. Let's have it right in his hand. So we're pretty much in a similar position right there. So, okay, that feels pretty good. So let me try and just let the ball out of my hand again and serve. And that was a pretty big serve if you look at it. It, it hit the ground and went pretty high on the fence. So, again, I felt like I was getting some nice pop. But I would always go back because I want to keep – I want to ingrain this as a feeling. So again, I'm like, let me try another serve right here and hit that serve. And that one went pretty high on the fence. Let's, let's take a look at where that is hitting on the fence. We're going to close up. We see the ball there. And so I think I've got an outline. So that's pretty high on the fence. I would say maybe just a tad higher than I normally get. So I was very encouraged with this. And that is our first move. That's, that's, all I want you focused on in today's video. So my reaction after doing that is that was a lot of fun. That was a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. I, I found myself really enjoying the process. So I want you guys to go out and try that. As you can see, we we're just working on the first move today and I myself don't have it down perfectly yet, but there was some aha moments, some things that really felt good about the serve. I like the way he's holding it down here. I like how he's coming out here more and, and how that that's locking that, that this first move right here, I feel like the hip kind of pokes out and locks to the back fence. And then that really sets you to go up. And I found that some of my serves are going higher off the fence than uh, I anticipated. So I hit some bigger serves than I thought I was going to. So definitely go out and try it. Comment and let me know what you think of this serve clone idea. Do you like it? And if you go out there and you practice this, how did it work for you? Were you able to get that first move down or close? What are you struggling with? If you want to, um, be notified on this three-part series you could do a couple of things number one is you can subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of videos when we upload them on, on YouTube also you can get my VIP email list and I am going to be emailing everybody out because I think it's gonna be a series that people really like I'll be emailing people letting them know hey we just made we just put part one part two part three out so you want to uh, be part of that get on my email list plus for doing so I'm going to give you a bonus free serving course, serving A to Z, which if you don't have it yet, it's really cool. It's got 30 plus videos on how to serve. And we start from the very beginning. We start from scratch and we teach you how to develop the rhythm of the pros. We teach you how to get, you know, things that give so many people trouble, the, the toss, the contact point. We teach you how to find that with great success. And we also go through advanced concepts like changing to the continental grip to hitting a slice serve, hitting a kick serve. So you wanna try that out. Uh, you can click right there to get it. 
and don't forget to subscribe because remember guys, every time you subscribe to our channel, Roger and Rafa, who are close personal friends of mine, well, remember, they promised to play an additional 20 years on tour. They are robots. That's how they've lasted this long. You guys don't know this. They are robots. And a calendar year for us is just like a couple days for them. So they can literally play for the rest of our lives only if you subscribe. That's what they've at least told me. All right, guys, we'll see you on future videos and be looking out for Serve Clones, video number two, part two of the Roger Federer Clone Serve series.